Laura, thank you. 24 Hour News 8's Mark Thompson is monitoring conditions along US 131 in Allegan County. And Mark has more tonight on a new wrinkle for police this winter involving those new cable barriers. Mark? Yeah, Brian, first of all, we're going to tell you about the conditions out here. We have been up and down 131 and I-94, and the roads are passable right now, but it's slow going down to one lane in some places, and the visibility is very poor. But as you mentioned, the weather is not the only thing calling, causing challenges for police this winter. State police attending to at least two major accidents along I-94 involving several semis, one near Paw Paw and the other just west of Battle Creek. The accident shutting down the highway for several hours, rerouting traffic. As the crashes came in, we just continued to respond. But it's the dozens of slide-offs that have become a lot less routine for police this winter, due in part to the new cable guardrail system. What was once a matter of getting a wrecker to pull a vehicle out of a ditch has now turned into a more time-consuming process as cars slide and scrape into the cable barriers. What once was a slide off is now a lot of times a crash because we have damage to the vehicles. Taking longer for police to assess the damage and clear the scene. The guardrail system also making it more difficult for emergency vehicles to get to accidents in the first place. We have to go further down the road in order to find a place to turn around or to an exit ramp to get out and then come back to assist a motorist. MDOT officials say they hear concerns from police and motorists and are working on ways to make the cable guardrail system work better for everyone. But they say the bottom line is... They do save lives. That's been proven. The intent of the cable guardrail system is to prevent a car from crossing the median into oncoming traffic. That benefit, MDOT says, outweighs property damage complaints. And officials say Michigan drivers are going to have to make some adjustments knowing the cable guardrails are there. Michigan motorists are really going to have to change their mindset. No longer can you push the speed limit on a snowy road and just safely slide into a median. And now you're going to encounter the cable guardrail system. And MDOT has collected some data on the cable guardrail system along I-94 in Van Buren County. Out of the 90 crashes that they collected data on, they say at least three of those uh, were prevented from crossing the median because of the new system, but there is still a lot more information that they need to collect and then try to make some improvements to those cable guardrails. Reporting live in Allegan County, Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News 8. All right, Mark, thank you for staying on top of that one for us tonight.